Hello guys, this is Angela with Angela's Busy Bees Garden and Homestead and I'm back with another update uh, of my seedlings and I'm sharing it so that you all can see the progress of starting from seed to um, up potting them into larger containers and then up potting again as in the case uh, with my kale plants. They've all been uh, repotted into uh, larger pots as you can see here and I have six trays of eight of the kale plants here and I have them sitting in um, two liter bottle uh, containers that you would get from the gas station or the grocery store and they fit those little uh, well those pots perfectly and so that is what I'm going to be using to help me to transport all of my transplants to the garden. And then over here, guys, these are my Carolina uh, Gardener uh, gifted strawberry plants. And these are called Seascape strawberries. And as you can see, uh, I've potted them up uh, less than a week ago. And you can see that they are all doing very well. There's green on every last one of them. So you can see where the foliage is going to be coming on very nicely. Very pleased with these strawberries. And um, guys, when you get your strawberries from bare root, it's very important that you get them uh, potted up quickly as, as soon as you can, uh, because if they stay dry for too long, they can die. And then over here, guys, this is my Swiss chard. And they were recently potted up. And I have all of these out here today because the temperatures are supposed to be in the upper 40s to low 50s. And so I wanted uh, to continue the hardening off process. And in the case with the strawberries, they can withstand temperatures uh, as long as they don't get below 30. And so I am going to bring all of these inside uh, tonight uh, because the temperatures in the evenings all this week are supposed to be in the upper 20s and low 30s and so just bringing them out just so that they can harden off and um, with my kale plants um, last year and the year before that I transplanted all of my brassicas in uh, early March and even though we had a frost after that, they were still able to survive because they are um, cool vegetables uh, or cool season vegetables. So I'm not really concerned about them. But some of the other things that I'm planting, like my peppers that take a long time, um, I won't go out into the garden with them as early as March. I'll keep them until maybe mid-April or even late April um, before putting them out. But now I'm going to take you inside and um, let you see what I have growing under my fluorescent lights. And guys, this what you see here, uh, this is a six foot table where one of the legs broke off of it. And so um, I started to throw it away, but then I thought of, hey, I can still use this um, for my transplants when I'm trying to harden them off. So what I did is I've just simply placed uh, milk crates under it, and that's why it's so low here to the, uh, to the floor of the balcony. Um, but let's go inside, and I'll share with you how things are looking inside. Okay, so guys, I've had to bring in a second table, and since I had uh, a total of eight fluorescent lights, uh, I've decided to use uh, two on the top of the table, and two below on both of the tables that I'm using. Um, but over here, guys, you'll see these are my strawberries that I received from the Bulls Garden. And they are doing really well, as you can see. Over here, I have a celery that I purchased from the grocery store uh, that's starting to uh, put on leaves or to bring up a, a, a stem. Over here, 
um, or the kale plants. Um, you know, I sowed several seeds uh, per pea pellet and I tried to keep every seed that germinated. So these are the smaller uh, of the ones that um, was growing with the larger kale plants and I separated them and placed them in their own pot just to see uh, if they'll, you know, continue to grow and uh, develops more strength. Over here I have my cabbage and they're not quite looking as well to me. Uh, they're looking a little yellow so I'm going to give them a little of the um, 411 uh, which is the same thing as the 511 uh, but the 411 is just more um, uh, it's, it's better for young seedlings and it's just a, a notch down from the 511, which you can do yourself just by diluting it a little further with water. But I'm gonna add some uh, 411 along with some Epsom salt, and hopefully that'll help them to bounce back. If not, um, thank goodness I still have enough time if I need to sow some additional seeds. And then under the table here, I have a variety of different colored bell peppers, uh, the red, yellow, orange, more cabbage here. And as you can see, you know, they are trying to yellow on me. So I'm gonna see if a little magnesium will help. Here's my Texas store hibiscus. I threw four seeds in a pot and lo and behold, four plants germinated. So they are looking quite well. And over here, uh, these are my nasturtiums. Okay, let's go to the next table. Okay, so on this table, I have more cabbage, parsley, and collards. And these babies are very young. They just germinated just a couple of days ago, and some of them were becoming leggy, so I needed to quickly put them under the fluorescent light uh, so that they would <clears throat> not get too, um, you know, leggy, and that way they could develop a little bit better, uh, going more um, horizontally as opposed to vertically. And then under the table, I have my basil. I have more Swiss chard. And these are all very young babies. And then I have two trays of 18 of the broccoli. Okay. And here, sitting on my warming mat, I have more spinach because the spinach that I sold earlier started to bolt and go to seed. And on this one here, what do I have? I have the regular green bell peppers and nothing has come up as of yet here either. And this last one, I've sown seeds for celery and nothing has come up as of yet. And from my last tray of seeds germinating, I'll take you to see if anything else has come up since the last time we visited. Okay, so here, this is where I planted my habanero peppers, cayenne peppers, banana peppers, and serrano chili peppers. And I see some growth in here. I'm gonna wait till it come up a little further. Also, I see here that the hiberneros have started to budge just a little. Um, but here is where I had my collards. So I have two more collards that I can pot up. Oh, here's a third collard. I want to make sure I keep them together. And then over here, I have some more of the Swiss chard to pot up. So it's looking pretty good. I'll get these potted up. And as I stated, see, I haven't looked at it in a couple of days. And as you can see, it starts to get leggy. So I need to get it right away up under a light 
um, so that uh, I can stop it from you know getting too long and not growing well or doing well okay thank you so much guys for joining me I appreciate you taking this journey with me and don't forget if you like the video please hit that like button subscribe and hit the notification bell for future videos God bless.